Welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us today. Remember to call those prayer lines where we're going through the program. Please don't go through things alone. We're here to agree with you. We're seeing signs, wonders, and miracles, all kinds of answers on those prayer lines. Seems like every day somebody else is sending a card or calling and saying, thank you so much. God did this and bleeding stopped and I'm walking and I'm hearing and I'm seeing. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we joke a lot, but uh, one, one time this gal called and she got healed from glaucoma and when i repeated it all of us was sitting here and i said yeah she got she got uh delivered i mean she got healed from uh guacamole and and, and i know and, and uh, i love it we laughed till we and cried and was sitting where you were she was still she goes well i hope we don't ever deliver me from guacamole because i love it and we just laughed till we couldn't laugh anymore but she got delivered from yeah. glaucoma wow. you know so we don't take this lightly we're so yeah. thankful mm. and we hope today and believe today, not just hope, we believe and we stand in agreement with heaven that something supernatural is going to happen in your life. Whether you want to try to kill yourself, that, that addictions are broken, yeah. that marriages are healed, mm -hmm. that children get saved, that, you know, so many things. Maybe you were in a house fire, maybe something, you know, you lost everything. Maybe you were in a sinkhole or a tornado or a persecuted Christian or so many things going on but we believe by faith today and we're here to encourage you and love on you and pray for you and do this ministry show because we're talking about circumstances versus truth today mm -hmm. and wow is that going to be a powerful show so stay tuned and with that I want to welcome the new viewers to the program today you know many times we hear I mean lots Mm -hmm. that you're just clicking through the channel and came across us and it was powerful and you called the prayer lines and God touched your life and we are so grateful for that. We don't take that lightly and thank you for joining us. Stay parked there truly. You'll want to hear what God has to say today because God really does have mm -hmm. a view and uh, he rose up this show for such a time as this. We're seeing thousands come to the Lord a month. And uh, we're so thankful to be a part of it. Yes. And uh, call those prayer lines. Please don't go through things alone. 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. So easy to remember. 637-PRAY. You can just spell it out. It's always behind me right here if you need to get to that mm -hmm. phone. Uh, I'm Charlene back to Mary and welcome new viewers. Welcome all those who watch us so faithfully. When we get letters and they say, oh, we just, I mean, uh, one lady just kept saying, you just don't know. We rely on you guys. Oh, awesome. And I know I'm speaking for thousands of others. She said, I mm. rely on you. And I just bless me so much. She just will never know. And uh, I'm Charlene back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts, Jennifer Griffin, Priscilla <laughs> Pruitt, and this girl over here. No. <laughs> this guy over here, Joshua Griffin. Yes. We're so glad to have him. He's uh, filling in for uh, Lana again this week. Of course, for those who maybe haven't watched us for a few weeks, maybe you've been on vacation or maybe we weren't where you were, Priscilla is our new co-host. Mm -hmm. We're so thankful to have her. Thank uh, you. And God just brought her divinely supernaturally connect her with us she fit in like a glove and that's <laughs> what i was waiting on for god and uh because we've had all kinds of different but it had to yeah. be god it's just not that everybody that tried out and that was good that was oh they were great they were special yeah. what god yeah. let us you know uh fill in and stuff they were all they did great jobs but uh it just wasn't the one and so mm. priscilla was the one god had a plan for her to uh do this media show and um, reach people for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And all the way, I always say to everybody, every time we do these programs, it's a training thing. You know, all along, when I had hosted for Daystar for 10 and a half years, you know, I was always thinking, you didn't get anybody. And I'm just thinking, but it's training. Mm -hmm. And it was That's all true. training then for what mm -hmm. God had us build this exactly. network. 
and to do what we're doing now. It's all for a reason for our next season. Now, hopefully I stay in this season forever. I love it, you know, but I've been in the season of media and TV for years now. And so 20 now. And so this is a great, wow. great deal. And I love it. I love media because we reach so many. We have such mm -hmm. a vast audience mm -hmm. and we can really reach a lot of people. Although I love going hands on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love doing those conferences and laying hands on you people and praying. But anyways, our subject today is uh, circumstances versus truth if you just tuned in and it's a powerful powerful thing because you know I've said this uh, time and time again that there are many people that sit in prison today now we have DNA that are setting some of them free don't we yeah we yeah. have we have DNA that are mm -hmm. setting people free that have been mm -hmm. in prison for 20 years that it really wasn't them Sad. because guess what circumstances circumstantial evidence put them there and it, it's, it's crazy because people can really believe what the circumstances says or what somebody's presenting. You know, and I tell yeah. this story a lot, not a lot, I've told it, you know, quite a few times. My grandbaby, when she was real small, and she had her little sippy cup, and I put the milk in it. I had just bought the milk. The date was good. Oh, it smelled good. Everything, you know, was brand new. I put it in her little sippy cup, and she went, Mimi, no taste good. So I looked at the date again. Mm -hmm. I smelled the milk, everything, and everything looked great. Mm -hmm. And I said, mm, well, honey, it's good. No taste good, Mimi. And oh. so I, I sipped it. It was sour as the day mm. was long. That's wild, isn't it? See, right mm -hmm. there, that circumstance, I mean, that everything looked mm -hmm. good. You know, mm -hmm. God says, taste and see that the Lord is good. When you mm -hmm. taste Amen. of him, you can count on it's real, the dates are everything. Right. Everything is right <laughs> on. But there's other things out there, like circumstantial evidence that maybe mm -hmm. put somebody in prison forever, or that mm -hmm. says it's something that it's not. That milk, that date was accurate. Did somebody stamp it wrong? Probably, or it got warm on the way there. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It was in false conditions, different conditions, bad conditions, mm -hmm. just kind of like circumstances are. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is when I tasted it, it was terrible. So truth wasn't the date. It yeah. wasn't good. It yeah. wasn't mm -hmm. good. It tasted terrible. It was fake milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was spoiled. Ugh. But everything, like I say, lined up with the circumstances. You know, that's why I said, well, honey, the date's good, I say to my little baby girl, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, smells good, but it was as sour as sour could be. Mm. Wow. You know, it's, it's really important, too, and I've, I've been speaking this to different people, that, first of all, we are not a victim of our circumstances, mm -mm. Mm. and we are not a product of our environment. Yes. We are a product of heaven, mm -hmm. and God always causes his people to prosper. Yes. Amen. And so it's really important to understand that even though a circumstance might say something, mm -hmm. that is not, That's we, not we, we are not victims and we're exactly. not stuck in these circumstances. Yeah. And those things change. Yeah. Yes. These circumstances will operate in fear, in doubt, it will operate in your own power, in your own strength, but truth oh, true. will operate in faith, by faith. And circumstances operates in fear, by fear. So it goes back to that fear of faith thing. You That's know, fear good, of faith Priscilla. is like water and oil. They don't mix. They yes. don't mix. You can't have one and have the other. And so if you're operating out of fear and your circumstances is greater than your faith in God and His ability, then there's a problem. Yeah. So you'll time. never have enough money. You're never going to have all the knowledge. You're never going to have everything. Your circumstances will always fail you. But God will never fail you. Amen. Ever. That's so true. Amen. That is so <laughs> true. Because you look at how many times. Okay. When we were starting this great network, when we were starting this, I mean, I'm telling you what. Listen. To you me. didn't have the circumstances. I, no. know, I mean, I was like, holy yeah. God. God tells me one day in prayer. Perfect example. Build a TV station. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You know what? But I am just silly enough to obey God and Amen. I knew I heard God and I remember mm, <laughs> Theory's I back that. there on the board today and they're good friends of ours and and been friends for years and, and they're on our boards there <laughs> and the thing is is I, they went to dinner with us that night and I popped the thing and they're just looking at me and Andy laughs well I knew it was God then because my husband never laughs at me he'll say well well 
well, you made me go like this and stutter a little, but he says, oh, oh. he'll say, well, we'll pray about it, because he knew God had told me things so many times. But this was so big and so vast, and I'll tell you what, when we started it, every circumstance in that can come and stand before mm. you and say, no, this is not going to happen. I mean, everything. Mm. But, you know, I just kept barreling through every one of those false circumstances and every one of those lies through the laughter and through the mocking and through the, this ain't going to happen and, and the torments of the enemy going, oh, you got to be kidding me. This thing's too big. Well, then mm. it ain't too big for God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Isn't too big for God. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, we sit here today, nine years old with this with this mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. so excited you mm. know now today with Charlene is nine years old God's view is eight years old but eight's new beginnings you know yeah there you mm -hmm. go. we get uh, mm -hmm. Priscilla new beginnings yeah. and you know and so we but but God he did it but every circumstance every I'm mean, lined up from finances to mm. everything because listen when you do TV Say something breaks down or something, you know, it isn't like, okay, let's go to the store. Right. This one's a hundred bucks. <laughs> Try ten thousand every time. Or yeah. this equipment was twenty thousand or this you know, it's not these little things, you know, that break and it's right. like microphones, like this microphone I have on. And it's you know, it's a little older one. It was like twelve hundred dollars for each microphone. Wow. You know, it's not like you go and buy a thirty nine dollar thing. Yeah. And so we had to believe for not only all of it to start and buildings and money and and licenses and, mm -hmm. and I mean it was so overwhelming. But I knew God spoken here and right. that the circumstances would lie and they would come and man, mm -hmm. they would try to stop this thing. But me and God Oh, he just helped me to barrel through every single time, every single yeah, time. Yeah. Circumstances were lies versus truth exactly. of what God had spoken to me and what he confirmed in his word. Yeah. Well, and you know, in the path that you're on, you know, the enemy is always trying to, oh. I think about it, and he's at the end of the path, and the enemy is always trying from the left and to the right, mm. and it's scriptural that he's he's trying to pull us off track, yes. trying to distract us, mm -hmm. or even trying to stop what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that's why we got to continue to look forward to him and right. look to Jesus at the end. Mm -hmm. It's like he's got this pathway, and you can see him but but the circumstances will oh, constantly yeah. be grabbing right. at it's you like right you'll never have the right yeah. circumstances yeah. Oh, it's impossible it's never, you it's don't impossible. need faith yeah yeah. And yeah. thank God that yeah. we don't ever have the perfect circumstances. Yeah, because if everything lined up, we wouldn't have to believe yeah, God, would we? we? Would it. well, it's always it. terrible when yeah. we got to go or when he says step right. out. Everything doesn't look right. Yeah. He says, in this right. world you will find trouble, but take heart for I've overcome the yes. world. Amen. And you know what else is interesting too? Uh, in Colossians 4.8, mm. uh, Paul is talking about this, this, this man that he's sending to them. Yeah. And he says, uh, he says, I'm sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. Mm. This is one of the things that's neat about Ooh, the body of Christ. Yeah, because yeah. in the body of Christ, even though your circumstances may be extremely difficult, and we are not making light of circumstances, whether it be no, sickness, no, whether it be finances, yeah. whether it be just, it seems like the world's against you, but in that time, God is connecting. That's why he says, I desire that above all things you would prophesy. Mm -hmm. Because we're speaking into circumstances yes. and saying, it isn't always going to be this way. You will make it. Yeah. God is a God yeah. who is going to see the circumstance and bring the answers that you need when you need them. And so what a blessing it is that we're a body, not just a few individuals here and there, and we don't connect with one another. Because the more that the body connects, mm -hmm. the more we're able to speak into each other's yes. circumstances yes. and bring encouragement mm -hmm. to our hearts. One thing exactly. that you said I love, because you know that I... I am a firm believer of getting scripture and speaking it over mm -hmm. your life because the Holy Spirit, the breath of God, the poem, he has something to breathe on. And I always say when you point you to the left and to the right, if you have that scripture, the Holy Spirit at that time will breathe on that mm -hmm. scripture and it will push you right forward where you need to be yes. in the time that you need it. As you speak that scripture over you, there will be life on it. You know, there's so many that... Um, that my husband and I stand on. I mean, just gobs. I'm always, yeah. I'm always saying a couple <laughs> of them, but that I really, really like about you know. But this one that comes to my mind today is my husband and I. We stand on because in times, especially when you're doing media, you're you're speaking to millions of people. Like, like, like you can't take that lightly because God's entrusting us 
with all yeah. of these people's yes. hearts. That's a big deal. Yeah. That is a huge, huge. deal. Yes. And I mean, we, we're accountable yeah. for that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like, but you know, my husband and I, we stand on God, you've given us the tongue of the learned mm -hmm. that we know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. You Amen. wake at us morning by morning to hear as the learned and we mm, were not rebellious, neither turned away back. Now, now when that. we prophesy that scripture, guess what? The Holy Spirit has something to, to breathe mm -hmm. on and just, and bring it to you and bring life because right. it's the Holy yes. Spirit, the breath. Mm. He's the one that brings the life to the scripture. Yes. He's the same one who raised Christ Jesus from the dead. He's the power. Exactly. And, and if you're having maybe situations with circumstances and you just always give in to the wrong circumstance or something mm. like that, I would, I would strongly urge you to get on fire and get baptized, baptized with the Holy Spirit because it opens up truth because the Holy Spirit is the one who leads and guides into mm -hmm. all truth. Now, if I did not have the Holy Spirit when I was going through this TV thing, I mean, if I did not have him, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I mean, I, I would have no truth. I, I couldn't have done it. He, he, every corner of the way when FCC laughed at me and when people mocked wow. me and when they said that, that this would never happen and we're not going to sell you that license because you've never done TV and you're crazy and, and all wow. this kind of stuff. This will never happen. And you got to build it in this amount of time. But little did I know that I had the angel, the king of mm -hmm. kings of of engineers yeah. that everybody in the whole world respected and he didn't even have to take my case he just did it wow. i called him and it's just too long of a story but it was a miracle mm -hmm. and i go well okay and i got off the phone and i was saying no this is in jesus God, name i don't care the they're they're gonna the sell me this this is gonna happen and blah 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 and so right away i call my byron he's such my angel sent by god i've always told him that you're my angel sent by god he said, oh, honey, and he's this calm guy. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, and because uh, and that's just my person. I'm just like, you know, prophetic, too, and so you're extreme. And he's always calm. Oh, just give me their number, honey, even though all the circumstances were screaming. So another thing ain't going to happen because they ain't going to sell it to you. They were just being so mean. And he said, give me their number, honey. And so he calls them, calls me back like 25 minutes later. Okay, it's all done. Just get a check. Go there. Wow. They, they sold it. It was a big. It was wow. a big uh, uh, it. place in Vegas. Wow. A big TV station that held this license. That, and I mean, uh, but they listened. To, well, you didn't tell me you had Byron St. Clair. He says. Ah. As yeah, I love what you did. You stood on Scripture. Yes. It says yeah. that faith comes by hearing. Like I said, it goes mm -hmm. back to that faith or fear. Circumstances mm -hmm. equals fear. Yes. And faith is. What, how do you get that faith? By hearing the word of God. By like she said. Getting into that scripture, you know, literally speaking that over your yes. life, praying the scripture, because God's word will not return void. It yes. He That's put right. a law into place where he has to obey it. If you pray it, he's going to make it happen. So Amen. Pray that scripture. Use Amen. it. Well, and then it also talks about, you know, if you're if you're coming into agreement yes. with what's going on, too. And we know that's yeah. true. Because yeah, exactly. if you're coming into agreement yeah. with sickness, you're coming into agreement yes. with anything Love that's that. going on in your life, you're, it says pow, uh, the power of life and death is in your in tongue. Your tongue. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, yes. you're coming into agreement with what the devil's trying to do. Right. And you don't want to come into agreement with what the devil's doing. Right. You want right. to come into agreement with heaven. Well, and you yes. want to come into agreement with the scriptures, like yeah. you were exactly. saying. I agree. I Go that. back to a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about atmosphere. Mm. And see, the whole thing about atmosphere is just as Jesus is the word and he spoke and the vibration of his voice changed things or created things, yes. we also create with yes. this atmosphere, with yes. our yes. voice. That's why we declare True. and we proclaim things. And so I don't want to speak things about my circumstances as, how am I going to get out of this? Mm. Well, right away, I'm, I'm not acknowledging God in all my ways. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, how am true. I going to get out of this? Or mm -hmm. Even some of our best friends exactly. will say, what are you going to do after you tell them how bad <laughs> things are? They'll say, I, know. I ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> and you exactly. said, you, you know, and you My said that acknowledging him, and I love that scripture, yeah. trust in the Lord with mm -hmm. all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Exactly. All your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct, he will direct your paths. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's powerful. And you know, there's another thing that we should speak over all of us and you today, because it's another scripture I stand on. Let me tell you, I prophesy a lot of scriptures over us every day. And that's how I learned how to uh, actually, you know, when I was first born again, I thought, oh, I can never memorize all that, but I've got all <laughs> kinds of memorized. Because if you start praying them every yeah. day and decreeing them over you, and you know, that, it's a powerful thing. If we yeah. can yeah. stir you up to 
today to even start decreeing. And yes, you can call it praying or whatever you want over mm -hmm, your professing, mm -hmm. proclaiming, do whatever. The, you know, it is but, written. But I, yeah, it is written. <laughs> but I decree and I go after mm -hmm. that stuff and I believe it because there's power in the word. You yes. know, even when you come after the devil, you can't call him potato head. He don't answer to potato head. He answers to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know, and so you, the word of God is powerful, active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It doesn't return void. He says, just as it comes down the snow and yeah. soaks the ground and cannot return void, so is my word. So can you just imagine that? I love the depiction that he mm -hmm. gives in that. But I want to say over you another scripture that I prophesy over myself. Come on, son. All of us, all of us right now, grab a hold of this, that we walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes. nor stand in the way of sinner, nor yes. sit in the seat of the scornful. But our delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do we meditate day and night. A hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Meditate on his word day and night. Now I can I can go on and on with that a whole long time. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's meditating on what he says, looking to what he says, mm -hmm. turning away from what the circumstances are screaming. So many of you have had circumstances screaming for so long that it's it's kind of easy to believe it. And you're thinking, okay, just like me, since we started this network, I've dealt with cancer, you name it. You name it, I have dealt with it. Now I just got diagnosed with some other really crazy thing that, but I can tell you what, I stand, I'm standing, Amen. I will not back down, Amen. I don't care, you mm -hmm. know, because I know what it's all, all these circumstances, all these symptoms, all these things that have happened to me is just to come and stop my ship mm -hmm. from sailing. Amen. But I got news. The Lord speaks to those waves. Peace be still. Yes, and does. I, exactly. you know, he's, yeah. the, he's the one that's sailing my ship and my whole ship of life. And I will not, I will not bow. I will live and not die and declare the works of God. And it just seems like I, Every circumstance, not just circumstances, sickness, like yeah, you were talking yeah, about. Understanding. Yeah. Everything. Like you said, not yeah. your own understanding. Yeah. And yes. I, you know what? I don't get it. I see people getting healed all the time. I'll go and do meetings mm. and people get healed. I see all kinds of people getting healed on the prayer lines. I see people writing in and saying, wow, you guys prayed and this happened and out of wheelchairs. You know what? Okay, why me? Guess what? I don't care. God still heals. That's yeah, right. That's still right. Heals. And you know exactly. what? What you're saying is, is really important because there's people out there that they need to grab a hold of that. They need to grab yes, a hold exactly. of what Charlene yes. was just speaking out because you've given in and you've given up to your circumstances and you're like, well, you've got hopeless. You become hopeless. You become, you know, just kind of going in with it. Right. But fight. Right. Fight, yes, yes. fight the word, you know, yes. with the word of God, as we're saying, not on your own, not with the devil, but fight mm. and grab hold and, and look yeah. up and ask the Lord to give you yes. scripture over your life. Right. He will impart something to you that you can stand upon. I really believe if you yes. ask, he will, there will be something that pops out like a, like this. Rainbow. And yes. you can, you can, yeah. you can yeah. stand upon yes. it and you can proclaim that and you can take right. that to the yes. bank. Amen. But yes. don't give in. Be like that bulldog. That, yes. Like, mm, you know, I like that about that. I like about mm -hmm. this woman because she yes. is a fighter. Yeah. God made her that <laughs> way because yes. she needed this in her life. And Amen. she does. She doesn't give in. She doesn't give in well, to things. Yeah. But I love that. Boy. I love that she said, lean not on your own understanding because we can't trust our four senses. Our no. four, four senses will always fail us. Yes. We don't see it because they our battle will. is not in the flesh. Yeah. Yes. Our battles against principalities and spirits yes. of darkness. It's right. in the word. It's in our speaking. It's in prayer. It's a spiritual yeah. battle. And we can't trust our understanding because our circumstances are always going to fail. Yes. Right. That's right. We have always That's talked good. about fear and faith. I mean, quite always. a bit. And the thing is, is when, when I just prophesied that scripture over people, when they, you know, it literally, when it goes into that, it says, depart, you know, uh, fear not depart from evil. Mm, yeah. You know, you can't fear. You, mm. you cannot fear mm. because the circumstances, when they start screaming, they put you in fear. And they're going to say, oh my God, you look at your bank account, okay? <laughs> and you're saying, I can't pay that. The, the, the light bill is going to be shut off for my kids. But you know what? Look at it. Hold your bank your, right. your thing up exactly. to heaven and say, yes. God, you're not going to let my kids freeze tonight. You're going to fill this exactly. bank account or you're going to send right. somebody, however it works. You know how many months I have to do that? Yes. <laughs> Every <It's> month. <laughs> for the TV station and to believe for things mm -hmm. to be paid and stuff. You know what? Yeah. Everybody says, oh, you guys sit up there and you have all this money and you have all these clothes and this jewelry. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what? We have to fight the mm -hmm. good fight of faith. Every one of us yeah. for just in our household bills, for yes. your ministry bills, for everything. We are not exempt. Nobody is exempt. Nobody just has, well, there are, mm -hmm. I guess, some 
you know, maybe uh, uh, Trump has more money than some, you know, and some people like that He's that can just do kind of yeah. just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But they still have to believe God. Yes. They have to trust in him. him. They have to uh, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Yep. Yes. You know, walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. We gave a scripture earlier. I don't know if it was, no, it wasn't on this show. It was on another show mm -hmm. about fear if you have fear, it's one of the things listed in Revelation yeah. 21 yeah. Yes. that will be hellfire. Right. Fear. Fear. Man, we better stop fearing right. well, all of us. Isn't it key not to be double-minded, too? Because in yes, James, in James he says, and I, I, I like this analogy yes. where you have a little kid and he wants his lemonade. And mm. so mom or dad comes out with the pitcher to pour the lemonade, but he won't hold his cup still. He's double-minded. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't yeah. get anything in his Analogy. cup. Yeah. And God says, they can't receive anything from me. So you can't have fear and then faith and then fear and then faith. Nope. What you got to declare and decree has to be constant. Yeah. Hold exactly. your cup out there. Hold it still. Why? Like exactly. God. You know why? Because it's it's like, I mean. Oil uh, and you're, water. You're, you're Joshua. You're not. But anyways, because he said that man's unstable in all this way. And what does it say? It says mm -hmm. like you're like. Tossed to Toss and fro, yes. a double-minded man. Yeah. What does he say? Well, this man will receive nothing, nothing. from God. So if you're double-minded, one day you're like, "Oh, God said this, or maybe I should believe this, or maybe I should go, or maybe I should," mm -hmm. do, you know, and you're like this. You're a mess. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. oh my goodness, and the time is up. Uh, wow. <laughs> huh, I feel like that Carol Burnett. You know, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> you know, it, that was so cute what she used to say. I can't think of it right now, but anyways. So glad we had some this time We're so together. glad we had this time together. I feel like Tim Conway. Just before you know it, it's gone or over or whatever. But anyways, it's so funny. But you know what's not funny is your life. Yeah. You know, if you died today, if your life was required of you, you're going to one place. You don't have a chance after, and I don't have time to teach on that right now, about Lazarus and, and uh, uh him sitting at the uh, master's feet and he died and the master died and you know what there was a big chisholm and he couldn't go and blah 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 anyways I, I shouldn't even be saying that if I can't tell you exactly the whole story but there's no choice after you die you have to make that choice right now while you're alive and please don't wait to clean up I've said this so many times because you may be just murdered somebody you may be a prostitute you may be Whatever, and you're thinking, God don't want me. Yes, he does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He loves you. He That's died while we were all yet sinners. Okay. We were a mess. I was a sinner. He speaks to the sinner, and he yeah. wants the sinner. Just say really quickly, because it's time to go. We only have 30 seconds. Mm. Just believe with your heart. Confess with your mouth that he's mm. Christ, the Son of the living God. Just say, God, forgive me of my sins. I want you as my Lord. My, I, I, I'm a mess. My life's mm. a mess, and I need you. And he'll come in, and he'll help you right now. And if you did that, call our prayer lines. We'd love to pray with you. God bless you. We love you. Um, tell your friends about us. Go to our website, $15 uh, love gift or more. We'll send you this God's View anointing oil. We're on apps, free apps, droids, iPhone, YouTube. We got to go. Love you. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs, Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs, Lana Gardner books, and Charlene Back to Marianne's books. Visit www.godsviewtvshows.com to purchase your products today. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs, Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs. Go to www.godsviewtvshows.com to view all God's View TV show